The hardest class pre-meds take is not organic chemistry, it's not biology, it's obviously not general chemistry, it's not physics, it's not calculus. It is a class that probably a lot of people have never heard of. I'm Bradley, if you don't know me, I'm on my journey to becoming a neurosurgeon. If you want to follow me on that journey, you can subscribe. If not, you can just keep watching this video. You might be wondering what class that is, and my answer is, it depends a little bit on your specific major, but I will name a few classes that are harder than organic chemistry that a lot of pre-meds take. If they're majoring in chemistry, if they're majoring in human physiology, or if like me, they're majoring in neuroscience. So first we have chemistry. The hardest class if you're majoring in chemistry is physical chemistry. My organic chemistry professor told me that his hardest class he ever took was physical chemistry. He told me that he hated the class and that he struggled with the class. If the organic chemistry professor is telling me these things, I think that that speaks volumes about the difficulty of physical chemistry. If you don't love chemistry, you should not be a chemistry major. That goes without saying. But if you don't want to take physical chemistry, you might also want to think twice about being a chemistry major. Next up, like I said, we have human physiology. There is a sequence of classes you're going to take if you're a human phys major called anatomy and physiology. And while each of those classes is less difficult than organic chemistry, I would say that together, since they are 10 credits, they will take up more time than organic chemistry did. For that reason, I would say that it's a little bit more difficult just in terms of the time that you're going to have to make for that sequence. So if you want to avoid taking those classes, you can just not major in human physiology and also not major in chemistry. Lastly, neuroscience. I have not personally taken some of the more difficult neuroscience classes yet because I'm going to take them my junior or senior year, so that's coming right up. If you want to hear more about those, you can stay tuned. I'll probably post a video about that when I take them. Now I've told you some of the more difficult classes that are just challenging because of their content, but you're not going to get B's in those classes because you're afraid of getting a B in those classes. The classes you're going to get a B in are what I like to call the most dangerous classes you'll take as a pre-med, and those are actually the easiest classes you'll take as a pre-med. Why are these classes dangerous? Well, they're dangerous because you often lump them in with a schedule where you have a lot of difficult classes, and then you're incentivized to spend as little time as possible on these easy classes so that you can get an A in those hard classes that I just told you about. Why is this bad? Well, it's bad because if you stop going to class or you stop giving these classes the respect they deserve, you can easily get a B plus in them, which is why I highly recommend being diligent about studying for even easy classes because those are the classes that oftentimes, like I said, pre-meds will get Bs in. How do you avoid this danger or this problem? Well, there's two ways to do it. First of all, when you're building your class schedule, you wanna actually plan out specific amounts of time to do work for the easy classes. So you don't wanna just say, oh, that's an easy class. I won't really spend any time working on it. You know, I'll just somehow magically learn the content. What you really wanna do is go to the lectures for sure. Don't skip the lectures. And second of all, at least do something to make sure you actually know the content. The problems a lot of students can fall into is that they just go to a lecture for the first couple of days, they see that the content is either review or it seems pretty slow paced, then they just stop going to lecture, or at least that's what happened to me a couple of times. And I was in very serious danger of getting a B plus in those classes because I ended up doing pretty poorly on some of the earlier tests and I had to come back for the final. Fortunately, I was able to study a lot and actually do well in the final because those classes were pretty easy. Now, if you really just are very adamant and you wanna avoid the danger, don't let that happen to you. Just study proactively up until the, the midterm and then continue through to the final. Overall, that's all I got. If you follow those steps, you're not gonna have that much trouble navigating the more difficult classes of being a pre-med and you won't end up getting a worse GPA because of easy classes either. If you wanna see more tips, you can subscribe. And if you wanna follow me on my journey to becoming a neurosurgeon, you can also subscribe because it really helped me out. You know, I'm a small channel still, so. Thank you and have a good rest of your day.